Hey guys, I'm doing a quick video on my Ford. Um, I checked the oil separator tonight and uh, I found a whole bunch of metal flakes and metal in the oil. Um, called Ford, um, another dealer, and I'm gonna take it there. Just having problems with, you know, I have one Ford dealer, they'll do the warranty work and they don't care about aftermarket stuff, but they do a shit job. So, I don't want to take it there. So I took it to two other places and they nitpicked it for the air intake system, which you can't legally, you can't legally not, not fix the truck over an air intake system. You, you can't do it. I mean, you can't do it. But I fought with them and fought with them. And then they said, well, you have an oil separator on there too. Okay. So I got tired of fighting with them. So we're just going to, me and my wife, we're just going to take it to uh, another Ford dealer and we'll just go there. So I'm just, everything has to be a fight. It's like, you know, after they, after they sell you the vehicle, no one wants to deal with it no more. It, it's just, you know, it's just really, really aggravating. It's really shitty on Ford's part. Ford really needs to look in this because it's every dealer is this way now. And it just sucks for the person who's just trying to get by and, and has their Ford F-150. They just bought it brand new and they have to go to work every day and they're dependent on it and, and their engine's going bad. So, I mean, it wasn't just a couple flakes. I mean, the oil, the, the oil separator, the can, there's, I mean, it's, it looks like someone dropped glitter in it. So, I just want to show you the wheels and everything and the tires. Like I said, these tires are great. You know, I know I'm rambling here because I'm aggravated. You know, I'm not trying to bash forward, but I just wish they would fix this 5.0. They know that there's a problem with these engines. And it's a great truck. I love my truck, you know. Most trucks I, you know, like like the F two fifty here, I'm gonna sell that. That's not something I'm gonna keep. You know, I love I love the truck, but you know, I'm more attached to my F one fifty because I drive it every day. This one I'm gonna wind up selling, and um, I'll wind up getting probably the two thousand and twenty GM because I wanna I wanna I wanna fix that up next. So I'll be selling this pretty soon. I don't know about pretty soon, but I'll be selling it. I, I want either a 20 or a 2021 GMC. I want the AT4. So I want to fix that up 2,500. I don't want a Denali. I want the AT4. So I'll wind up getting that and fixing that up real soon. But um, like I said, I have this, the Ford truck. I mean, everything's done. Uh, we just got a sponsorship with uh, Gen Y Hitch. I'm, I could be saying that name wrong, but we just got a sponsorship with them. My wife got a sponsorship with them. So we'll be getting, so I'll be getting two hitches and we'll be testing them out, pulling some boats and, and seeing how they work and doing a review on those. But it's just really aggravating. So I just want to bring you a quick video and I'll, uh, I'll show you the, uh, hopefully y'all can pick it up, but I don't know if you can or can't, but I'll, um, let me walk around the truck first. Some of y'all ain't seen the truck. Brian may have some new, new viewers. Oh, in my garage. And for y'all who think I'm rich, I'm not at all. I mean, I get by a sacrifice for me and my wife sacrifice from buying a house to uh, living in, in uh, one of our uh, rental properties. So, and it's nothing fancy. So, just so y'all know. But there's the truck. You know, we both have to work every day. My wife works 60 plus hours a week. I just have really good credit. So. All right, guys, I'll walk back here. Oh, if I don't trip. And I'll show you what's going on with the oil. Now, I don't know if it's gonna pick it up or not, but I pray to God y'all can see it. Let's see. I'm trying to make some chunks out here. me that way try to spin it there it goes you see them see all that metal that's ridiculous look at that oh that's metal that's not I mean y'all can't even see the 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 whole oil that I have in here it looks it's all glittery I mean, it's definitely going to need a new engine. 
All right, guys. This really hurts making this video. So thank y'all guys for watching. I appreciate it very much. God bless.